Hello guys and welcome to a new video and finally I made a build for the M13 which is one of the best assault rifles in the game right now next to the AK-47 and the M4. Before we start I need to clarify something that I noticed in most of my loadout videos where many viewers in the comment section would tell me Zara you should have used Merc for grip instead of no stock or you should have used RTC stock instead of the monolithic suppressor. Guys I make these builds based on my playstyle and just because I made it doesn't mean it's the best build in the game and you can mark modify it as you want according to your own playstyle. So first of all we'll do a quick damage comparison between the M13 build I shared today and its biggest rival the AK-47 build that I've been using this season. And we'll see which gun kills faster against an enemy with 300 HP at 10 meters range and at 40 meters range. Then after that we'll see this build in action. I hope you guys enjoy the video, let's get started. Starting with the fire rate, the AK-47 shoots 554 rounds per minute. As for the M13, it has an insane fire rate of 900 rounds per minute, which is by the way the same fire rate as the Type 25. So at 10 meters range, as expected, the M13 wins in every single part of the body thanks to the fast fire rate. And at 40 meters range, again, the M13 dominates in all body parts. And keep in mind that the M13 has an extra damage attachment that you can use, which is the RTC mag. But in this build, I went for the extra 30 bullets because the mag runs out before I even press the shooting button. So overall, honestly, I find both guns strong. The M13 can be better at close to mid range, but at longer ranges, the AK-47 is kind of easier to control. And I find it a lot easier to hit my shots with it. As for the mods, I went with a vertical recoil mod, followed by a lateral recoil mod and finally a precise shot mod. Now let's move on to the gameplay and see this beast in action. It was a fun game especially in the end where I went against my own viewers. So we'll see how that goes. Since construction site was right next to the plane path, I went for it right away. And there were a lot of players here so I was off to a good start. I left that area with 7 kills and I think I could have had 10 kills but I didn't finish off some of the enemies I knocked. But it doesn't really matter. Next I went to upgrade my skill and then I headed towards the first loadout airdrop. Drop is coming. 
Jump is coming. I honestly thought that the last player was knocked and I was looking for the last one. He could have killed me easily there. Anyway, I got my Fennec and at this point, I felt like Thanos. I had both my loadout guns with all golden mods and a fully maxed health. So I was ready for anything and I just went out looking for more kills. Vehicle is nearly done for. Their drop is coming. Engaging the enemies. Enemy down. Was nearly done for. vehicle is nearly done for. Moving on to the final stage of the game, it was a fight against my own viewers. And I don't know what my teammate was thinking. He went in to push them alone in the open and he got melted right away. Now meeting my viewers and friends is good and bad at the same time. Good because it's fun and challenging and bad because they watch my videos and they know all my plans and strategies. You can already notice that they're sticking to each other because they know my strategy of splitting the enemy team apart. And I tried to bait them to come to this house but they were smart and remained together. And on top of that, they had the zone advantage.
These guys were playing smart, but they should have stayed together till the end. They had both the zone advantage and this rock as a cover. The ninja flank here was good and he was able to deal some damage, but I reacted fast to him. And in the end, I managed to get some shots on the pumped enemy in the air with a total of 86 damage. And that's what you need to do. Don't just wait for them to land, try to hit them in the air. It makes them panic and by the time they land, you can finish them off in a split second. I still think that he should have killed me there, but I guess they panic. And you can tell by their voice in the end. It's like he just woke up from a nightmare. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I hope you like this build. And if you do, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.